Oncology per se is a diverse field where uh, the treatment are mostly multimodality treatment. We have machine like CT, MRI and all. We use ionizing radiation for therapeutic purposes. Not only ionizing radiation, we even use nowadays particle therapy also. Most of you have this thinking that you know radiation or oncology, mostly it's a branch, you know, where most of the patient, yeah, you know, with a bad prognosis or most of the patient often dies. Yes. Hello everyone. So I'm Dr. Yasmin Nureja. I'm a radiation oncologist associated with Apollo Cancer Center, Chennai. And this is the first time I have met so many aspirant who have come before joining to know about the department and I can totally understand the curiosity because as uh, MBBS students we hardly have any exposure of this department and we hardly knew anything about it. The first question which people want to know is is this a clinical branch or a non-clinical branch? So this is a very much of a clinical branch undoubtedly. Next question which comes in people mind is what exactly is radiation oncology? Is it something related to radiology? No, it is not related to radiology except for a thing. The sources we use are same, um, ionizing radiation, but in radiology it is used for diagnostic purpose. But in radiation oncology, we deal only with cancer patients or non-cancer patients also. So the thing is, the majority of patients are cancer patients. But yes, we do treat benign disease, non-cancerous tumors or some functional diseases also with radiation. Oncology per se is a diverse field where uh, the treatment are mostly multimodality treatment. So it requires a surgical oncologist, a medical oncologist and a radiation oncologist. Now the treatment here depends on the diagnosis and the stage of the patient on what stage or what diagnosis the patient may require radiation and we comply by it. Now radiation is delivered through machines. Now, like how for uh, radiology for the diagnostic purposes, we have machine like CT, MRI and all. For radiation, we have a radiotherapy machine. As a branch, we are quite tech savvy because uh, everything is machine based. Uh, there are even robotic machines which we deliver radiation. Again, other than external radiation, we have internal radiation also where radiation is deli delivered inside the body to a local or focal area so how the department works so radiation as i told it's a quite tech savvy department everything is quite uh, technologically ahead and we do depend on a machine uh, to deliver the treatment so in even within the department intra department we have technologists we have medical physicists who helps us secondly another question which most of you ask how to join radiation oncology so joining radiation oncology through your uh, pg you can join either through md uh, radiation oncology an institute setting or you can join through your dnb many of you ask is you know is there any night duties in radiation oncology of course there are night duties in radiation oncology during pgs pg period in some center it might be less weekly once in some centers it might be weekly twice question which most of you ask after obtaining the degree of radiation oncology what can you do well after obtaining the uh, degree of radiation oncology you can work as a radiation oncologist you can choose to be, ra be a radiation oncologist you have always have to be associated with a proper center where the department do have a machine to deliver treatments and secondly if you want to go ahead and you want to do dm if you have uh, got md degree you can go for dm medical oncology or you can go for drnb medical oncology and those who you have decided to pursue a dnb post your dnb radiation oncology you can offer also medical oncology as a drnb medical oncology every branch has it uh, challenge as well i have joined this with with passion so every day i kind of enjoy it and nowadays one thing i really like about the present people or the aspirants i'm meeting that you do come up with question and most of you are very much um, concerned about the job perspective and you have the passion to join this field it, this field does for you but you know if you are joining something just for the sake of joining whether you take it to radiation or you are some who have top you know the pg exam and you just want to join for something just because of your rank just you know to fit in somewhere 
then wherever you go whichever branch you take uh, you may feel very uneasy there choosing a branch is a lifetime commitment so whatever branch you choose kindly choose it very wisely and those who are taking this branch welcome to the gang wish you all the best to all the future radiation oncologists welcome to the gang <laughs>